right, well, um, seems like a uh, pretty exciting time for you guys. Uh, How did you think uh, it went overall signing day? Well, just the first part of it, it went really well. I thought we got a lot of great players and uh, kids with really good character and, um, you know, uh, got got really good prospects on both sides of the ball. Um, obviously, need to get some D linemen. We got some D linemen in this class, uh, which is was important for us. Uh, I feel very good about that. Um, you know, and just overall, I think the class is very solid. Uh, I think there's a lot of playmakers in there that can come in and, and compete early and uh, hopefully help us uh, quick. But uh, I really uh, think Luke and his staff uh, did a great job. Um, this year, all the coaches worked extremely hard. Uh, I really appreciate appreciate the uh, uh, the high school coaches out there for all the support they've given us and help. And um, so, yeah, it's been overall, it's been great. You mentioned the defensive line. Uh, obviously, you got Coach Bowen, Coach Mathis in there now, uh, getting this full cycle with them. Just uh, what can you say about the work that they were able to do, you know, along with uh, Coach Valerius and get that defense uh, rebuilt? Yeah, that's important. You know, uh, obviously, when you when you uh, bring in a new system, um, you know, you you got to go out and find guys that kind of fit, uh, you know, to what you're trying to get accomplished. Um, you know, obviously, we have some uh, some holes we had to fill there, and 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 really just uh, continuing to build that depth and um, uh, just get those guys in and uh, get them ready to compete. But I think they they worked extremely hard. We're obviously still not finished yet. We still have some spots left to fill. Um, probably for the most part, still uh, spots will probably move forward uh, more so on defense. Um, but uh, again, I think overall uh, they did a great job. It seemed like such a, t- a different year and potentially a tough year to be able to, um, you know, put together a class, and you guys were able to do that and get some really good kids here at the end. It looks like. Were you pleased with the way your staff was able to string this thing together and get you guys class together for this particular? There's no doubt. I think it's it's been a challenge not only on the coaches but on the recruits, um, on everybody, on, on the coaches, the high school coaches. Um, just kind of the way recruiting has been shut down, uh, not being able to go out in the spring and having to uh, evaluate in a different way, and making sure that uh, you know really having to have uh, constant communications with coaches and people in the community and um, you know evaluating everything, not only as a player but uh, student athletes all together and. Um, yeah, it's, it's been challenging for everybody, but you know our coaches have done a great job of building those relationships and uh, getting to know these kids and their families. And um, so I think that's been the most important thing. And uh, again, really excited about uh, how hard our guys worked, and uh, I think we got some really good players. It seemed like you got a lot of really good players right. In. Did getting to a bowl game help you guys close so well? Uh, I don't. I don't know if that had anything to do with it uh, as much as just. I think it's truly about the relationships you build. I think it's about staying on kids and making sure that uh, you, there's constant communication. Um, you know, we have a great university to sell, and uh, you know, I, I think the most part it's uh, selling our university, our administration, and, and what we have to offer for football, but also our academics. And um, I think the biggest thing though is just the 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 relationships you build with families and, and uh, these young men and uh, making sure they understand that you care about them. Uh, their best interest is, is uh, on your heart and, uh, you know, feel like they can come in here and do special things. So uh, I attribute that more so to relationships than anything. What went into, I mean, to be able to get Caleb Johnson with uh, how high he was rated and, uh, you know, signed to Oklahoma, and, or I'm sorry, not signed, committed to Oklahoma and, and decommitted there. Just what went into getting him and this whole process late? Well, I think just staying on him uh, is key, you know, and understanding that, uh, you know, when guys are committed up, uh, sometimes they're not, uh, you know, 100% exactly know what they want to do. I know he wanted to uh, catch the football. Uh, he's a guy with great speed that can really stretch the field. Um, and so I think ultimately uh, being able to stay close to home, the relationships we've built, and understanding they can come and play in an offense that uh, uh, knows how to feature guys and, and get the ball to guys uh, with that playmaking ability. You end up getting Gabe Blair, who is a, a really tremendous player in the Denton area, which produces a lot of talent. Are yeah. you hoping that that's a key step in kind of – continuing to build the relationships with some of these talent-rich schools? Here Always here. trying to continue to build relationships, Brett, especially in, in our community here. Uh, he's a stud now. Uh, just watching him on the tape, he's as physical. 
a guy that uh, uh, you see week in and week out. Um, he dominates his opponents and uh, really, really excited about him and, and really excited about the, the class Coach Bless put together offensive line-wise too. Um, I think it's a really solid class. I know uh, they will be excited to come in here and, and uh, you know, compete and, and earn his starting job uh, eventually. But uh, there's one thing I know about him. Uh, he's going to play nasty, and he's going to give everything he has. He loves ball. With uh, two junior college uh, signees and then one, obviously you had Jacob Farrell at the transfer um, as one of your two, tri two transfers. Just uh, do you feel like that's going to continue to be an emphasis going in towards February and uh, signing day? Yeah, we're, uh, again, uh, keeping our options open. I know there's going to be a lot of great players out there. Um, and we're continuing to evaluate, um, you know, our needs and uh, who's available. And so, uh, yeah, moving forward, we'll kind of, uh, not that we won't sign another high school kid, but, uh, you know, moving forward, uh, you know, trying to get some guys that can come in here and give us immediately help and, or immediate help and uh, that fit our schemes. Do you feel like you guys got some players who will give you immediate help in this class? I think uh, a lot of them have potential too. Um, again, uh, there's there's a reason why uh, you go out and get uh, junior college kids or transfers. Um, you know they've uh, had a little bit more ma uh, growth and maturity uh, age-wise, and um, you know uh, you're always looking for those guys to come in and, and compete for a starting job. Uh, but everybody earns their spots, whether you're a freshman in high school or or transfer or anything. You have to earn everything you get, and I think uh, we got a class full of talented men that uh, could definitely come in and compete for uh, not only a starting job, but uh, roles on this team and can help us make plays next year. With all the, the eligibility uncertainty, um, just how many more spots do you feel like you're going to have after these 16 uh, moving forward? Uh, we, we have, we'll have uh, plenty to move forward. I think uh, as of right now, we can sign up to, uh, you know, up into the 20s. And so, um, we still have some spots left, and then again, always looking to uh, improve our roster and uh, add competition. Seems like Bryce Drummond had a pretty good year um, in his senior year. How much do you feel like he's going to affect the quarterback room just as a whole going into next year? Uh, he had a phenomenal season. Again, every every guy's different. Um, you know, some some true freshmen come in, and uh, you know, the speed of the game uh, doesn't affect them as much as others. So. I could sit here and tell you each and every guy on this on this piece of paper that uh, could come in here and um, compete and earn a job or earn playing time, but it's all different. A year in and year out, you look up a couple years later and figure out um, everybody adjusts to it a little bit different. So, uh, you know, we're going to let those guys come in and uh, get comfortable uh, within our program, our staff, and everybody's going to have opportunities to to earn uh, to earn their their uh, their reps uh, and to earn their playing time and. Again, it's no different from a freshman to a senior to a walk-on to full scholarship. Uh, everybody's going to have opportunities to show why uh, we're a better team when they're on the field. But Bryce says he had a phenomenal year. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, uh, you know, our relationships, uh, our relationship is the reason why he's here. Um, uh, because it, uh, again, he had a lot of a lot of fire there at the end that uh, made me quite nervous, but. Um, he stayed true to who he is and uh, really excited about playing in the system. And uh, we're glad that uh, we could get him signed up. You mentioned hanging on to guys. This was kind of a crazy year for you guys with the amount of kids that decommitted and came in late. Was it was it a bit of a challenge this year with just the, the amount of movement there was in this class? Yeah, again, every year is challenging for, for different reasons. Uh, you know, the biggest challenge is this year is just not being able to uh, sit down face to face with family and uh, the prospects. And, um, you know, it's more like we're doing every week. It's more Zoom and uh, virtual uh, meetings and virtual visits. And so that's the challenging side of things. Um, but every year is different. Um, there's always challenges. It's just, uh, you gotta figure out different ways to overcome it and, and uh, get the best kids you can. Are you pleased with the way you guys closed? Was that pretty exciting for you to get a couple of these guys late? Yeah, uh, there's no doubt. Again, I'm, I'm really excited about the way we closed and uh, we're still not done yet. Again, uh, we still have another date coming forward, uh, moving forward. And so um, you're always excited to, uh, to get guys to come into your program that uh, you, know, you feel like can uh, one, fit your system, fit your core values and who you are. And um, it's, it's fun to watch them on tape and get them here and, and kind of see 
uh, throughout practice and throughout fall camp and all those things, uh, you know, how they're adjusting. Uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time for everyone.